Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the chevron friendship bracelet which uses the two basic knots, the forward and the backward knot, and all you need is basic embroidery floss like these. You can get them at any local craft store like Michael's or Joann's. I know Joann's sells them for 33 cents per individual skein, and um, it's a DMC brand which is a well-known brand for embroidery floss. And you need as many strands as you want. You can use three, four, five. I'm using three right now and you need each strand to be 64 inches because then we're going to fold it in half so it makes 32 inches per strand. And then after you cut your strands, you're going to fold it in half and then tie an overhand knot like to make the loop at the top. And then you can slide it under your clipboard or use a safety pin to pin it to your jeans or pillow or whatever you want it to put it. And then you can also use masking tape, but I'm using clipboard as you can see right here. Um, I already started like two rows for my chevron, but um, let's just say, pretend like there's an overhand knot right there. And then I'm going to show you a new row. Okay, so you're going to separate, oh yeah, I forgot to say, you're going to separate your strands, as you can see, the two colors in the center will be the same, and the two in the middle will be the same, and the two on the outside will be the same, and so on. So you're going to get the outer strand, the most left strand, the first one, and make a left on the second strand. And then you're just going to tie a basic forward knot. And then you're going to do that twice, like usual. And then we're going to do that again on your third strand, all the way until we get to the middle. My third strand's already in the middle, so, because I'm using three strands only. I'm making a six strand bracelet. Okay, and then after you get to the middle, and then you stop, and then you put that aside like this. And then we're going to start, we're going to do stuff on the, make knots on the right. And make a backwards board this time, backward knot. And then right on the second string, and then we go to the third string all the way until it gets to the middle. One, two, hold on. And then again, the third string. One, two. Alright, so when you get to the middle, You're going to take the two middle strands that you have. Make either a forward knot or backwards knot, it doesn't matter. Twice. It's not going to make any difference if you do a forward or a backward, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to repeat, and you keep on, keep on doing it until your bracelet is as long as you like. Let me do several more so you can see the pattern. So I got that tight. Move on to the second strand. And you set aside and do your right side again, like we did at first. Make the backwards not on the right side and the forward not on the left side. I just keep on repeating this pattern. And tie the two middle strands. 
with any knot, the forward or the backward, doesn't matter. And then you repeat. Let me do it one more time. The reason why you have to tie those two strands in the middle is just so then you can, like, how do I say this? So you can connect them, those two strands. If you don't, there's, um, the chevron won't appear, right? Like, yeah. Pretty much, that's the reason. It's to connect both strands together. Oh yeah, I forgot to do that one. Concentrating here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. One. And kind of two centers together. One, two. Every time you make a knot, it's going to be double. So make sure it's secure. Okay, so let me show you how it looks so far. Um, hold on. Right there. Hope you can see it. It's not that clear, but gives you overall look. So it's like a little V shape. That's what the chevron. And that's all you really do. Um, it's really simple. So for now, that's it. I guess. Yeah. So hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.